Just uh, keep it platonic. Uh, stop it, you- Stop it, you two! What are you doing? What on earth are you guys doing? How do you not remember what happened last time? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 Dream House. You're probably noticing that somebody is missing from the Dream House it is, of course, little Lilith. She is currently not here because she is actually hanging out in the city at the moment with little Ryder. So I think the first thing we need to do is bring her back and re add her to the family because, you know. It's not dream house if our little baby Philip. Baby Philip? Wow. That's the first time I think I've got those two names joined. Baby Faith. There we go. I don't know why I'm so bad with names, but they just go in one bun and go out the other bun, you know? Hello, dream house. Okay, can I like invite her over? Huh. <laughs> I just find the, the, like, the whole notion of just ringing a toddler and being like, hey, can you come around? And the toddler's like, yeah, sure. Let me just call a cab. Huh. Like, that's not how real life works. That's not how any of this works. It's just awfully silly, really. So, Emma is going to call around and ask her to hang out. Some of you guys were suggesting maybe we should change up Emma's hair a little bit. I can see. I can see. I can have a nosy at some and see if we can potentially find another one. So, here we go. Let's add you back to the family, my love. There you go. Oh, no. You're really angry. You're going to go ask Emma for some food because you're really angry. Oh, no. You're asking mommy for some comfort. And Bixie's hungry, too. What is happening in the dream house? You know what is happening? This room is happening. What? By the way, have you noticed that the food bowl I put on the floor keeps disappearing? That's kind of weird. What is happening is Lilith now has a room which does not suit her personality at all. And we were also talking about extending this room into the art room. We kind of said that Claire wouldn't mind that. Maybe we can keep some of the pictures on the wall. Or maybe we should move some of them around the house. I think we should do that, okay? So we've got like adult gems. Or is that teen gems? That could even be like teen gems there. We've got some Jessies here. We've got like child Jessie. Oh, we've got like, oh, I need to do the baby shit. Move objects on. There we go. So I can put these two like pretty close to each other like that. So we've got toddler um, Jessie and child Jessie. Yes, Jessie's natural hair color is brown. You'd never know because you never see her wear it. Can we try and get all like the gems ones together too? I mean, we've got a lot of gems. Maybe we can put them over there. Okay, I think I've cleared them all out. There's a few little ones up here. Oh my gosh, one of the kids drew this when they were really angry. James, I remember that. So, like, you can see that James was definitely a favorite of Claire's to uh, paint because we've got, like, a toddler James, kid James, teen James. We've got Ali playing games in the first ever house that they lived in. We've got the view outside the window there. We've got Jesse, Ali, and Claire when Jesse was a kid. Oh, that's the babysitter, actually. We've got another one of Jesse as a kid uh, up on top of the door here. And we've got Emily as a kid there, too. And then we've got Emily and Emma when they were kids. You guys were right. It was Emma that had the same hair as little Ryder. Oh, my gosh. Where am I going? So I think we can now knock this wall through and we're not going to lose any of those pictures, which I really did not. Oh, I think we've lost some on the wall in this room, but that's fine. I don't think there was any important ones. I just, I really did not want to lose any of those pictures because like they mean a lot to me, you guys. Okay, let's get rid of one of these doors. Um, Let's get rid of this more kiddie stuff. So I don't think she'd be down for the kiddie stuff. I don't think she'd mind kind of keeping some of the paintings around though because... They're pretty cool paintings, to be honest. But the rest of the room it needs to kind of suit Lilith a little bit more. <laughs> Which makes me want to put that on the wall. But no, we'll do it a little bit more subtle than that, I think. I do like these. Could kind of go a little bit greyish, maybe? Or a little bit... No, that was uh, Joxy's old room. Maybe we go this grey sort of... Rather neutral colour, you know? And then let's get some different florins. What is the current one? Okay, it's so one of these. Can we go a little bit more dark on the wood? Oh, that's lighter. That's not very dark at all. We like these kind of vibes. Get rid of some of this pink. Oh, don't keep... Oh, look, we could keep it in a different color, you know, like this. But let's get rid of some of the more kiddie furniture. So I don't think she's going to be about that bunk bed life anymore. Or, you know, the balloon lamps, the cloud, the little bookcase, the little chair. 
I think she'd have probably said goodbye to a lot of that stuff. The toy box, these cur window curtains, window curtains, these curtainy kind of things. I think it'd be really cool having all this art stuff still in your room, you know? And she's got a mural on the floor as well. So I think maybe this side of the room is where we will do the bed. She does not need a growth chart anymore. So let's get a few more of these, these same kind of lights up. Let's give her a double bed. I like to get my Sims into double beds fairly early on. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Ooh, we could give her a big, huge bed like this. That would be pretty cool. I think she would definitely appreciate that. Maybe like this kind of one. Oh, I'm getting good vibes from that first one. I feel like she'd be quite into a gray, you know? She's just kind of down with the whole gray business. And it means that the cushion she had as a kid, they kind of still work, you know? There we go. That looks like a pretty cozy bed. Have I got like a little sheet I can put over it or something? Okay, here we go. Good little throw to put over the end there as well. I'm kind of feeling like that sort of a Lilithy vibe. That's what we're going for here. Strong, strong Lilith vibes at all times. I probably want to go a little bit blacker if I could, but I don't know. There's no more like further black option unless I do that. Maybe actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. It goes better as well. Black side tables too. I love the little plant, you know, I'm all about that plant life. Oh, they're all going to float because I shrunk the tables, aren't they? I can't put them down when. <laughs> That's the problem with shrinking tables. You then are kind of stuck because you can't put anything on them, which I really hate. So I'm going to get rid of those tables. Maybe go for like this kind of vibe instead. I kind of want a cactus. Yeah, here we go. I feel like she would have a cactus. I don't know why. That's a dead cactus. <laughs> I just feel like Lilith would have a cactus. I'm just feeling it. Okay, now let's get her a little dresser. Where's a pup one though? Maybe just at the end here. It's kind of a little bit of a weird place. I kind of want to keep that there because I feel like it's sort of partitioning off the bedroom section of the room quite well. And then I know she's a little bit too big for this teddy, which is too big, by the way. <gasps> it loses its eyes when you make it smaller, which kind of makes it even creepier. So I'm going to keep that. And I feel like she would just sort of keep it for no reason other than like, why not? We Claire to paint a more like creepy mural, you know? And then I'm going to get rid of her old sort of a uh, kiddie dresser and get her a little bit more of a grown up one. Actually, we can keep the chair, but we can probably just change the color. Go for a more... Grey vibes. I don't know. The lift's a little bit hard. So if you guys have any like uh, suggestions or anything that you would do differently, please let me know and we can work it in there. Pet bed stays at the end of the bed though. And can we get back? We lost our little pet. I don't understand why the pet food bowl keeps going, but it does. So let's get that back as well. Gonna give her this notebook, which looks weirdly like a death note. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> And then I don't feel like she would have that on her wall anymore. It's just kind of, oh gosh, she's just sort of changed a little bit. She's grown up. Maybe that one. Sweet dreams, sweet tech. We love you. Good night. I think this one, like she's actually got a lot better at drawing. And because we're getting a little bit closer to Christmas, you guys, you know? And I want to put like a really big shelf on this wall. Don't know which one to go for. Kind of just, just browsing, having a look at some of them. Because we've got that one in Jessie and Roxy's already. It also comes out maybe a little bit fast and not that one. Maybe this one. I think that looks kind of cool. I really wish they had it in black. They don't. So I'm just going to do it in the darkest color I can. I mean, white kind of goes. But I, don't, I don't know. I feel like she'd go with... Meh, it definitely looks better in white, doesn't it? Never mind. Let's at least fill it with cool things. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Every shelf has a little something creepy on it. I like the heart at the top. I've never seen her in a heart, but I still kind of like it on top of there, you know? I'm saying you know a lot. I'm sorry. I seem to like, I almost just sort of fixate on words and then just use them all the time. <laughs> I don't really know where it comes from, but it's a thing that I do. So please accept it. Okay, so I just popped a little bit of clutter around her room. I do always like giving them a school bag. I don't know. It's just like something that I would do and I feel like... Lilith's would look like this. <laughs> I feel like it definitely would. So I think there's probably still a lot of tweaking we can do, but I find this bit a little hard because I like your feedback here and obviously I can't get it as I'm making the room. So I usually check back in the comments and see what you have said. But I think it's much better now. It's a lot bigger. I think she would actually love the fact that her grandma's art stuff is all still everywhere. Maybe we can get Claire actually to do um, a few more pictures for her for the walls. Like 
just gonna pop this one up there now because that's pretty nice like claire paints she paints nice things you guys you know look at that realism painted by claire siobhan so maybe we can get claire to do a little bit more painting i mean she's even got some on the go outside as we speak that one probably not so much but that one seems like a claire and we can kind of expand it a little bit and pop a little bit more in. But I think uh, the first thing that we should probably do is get this little one to fill the bowl and call poor little Vixie to eat. I hate the fact that she's hungry and also this little bun bun's hungry too. So please can everybody that has a dependent actually look after them? Because they are, they are like dependents. They can't do anything without you guys. I did ask you on Twitter right before I started recording this episode. Should I age up little, ooh, little mad, little mad Faith? And you guys said no, leave her as a toddler for one more episode. So I think I will do like, I don't feel like she's been a toddler for very long, but you guys said, why don't you change her clothing to make her look a little bit more grown up so that when she does grow up, it's less of like a big extreme thing. So I think, I think that is something that I will do. There we go. So, oh my gosh, this room, there's too many lights. It burns, it burns. Okay, let's definitely, definitely cut back on some of these lights a little bit. Does she look, she's still like, <sighs> but hopefully she's a bit better now. Remember when we were gonna make Lilith a vampire, but you guys didn't really like that idea. So I didn't, but maybe we can get Lilith to write in her journal, write some of her thoughts because you know, She's been through a lot and actually one of you guys on Twitter sent me like a, I'd say it was a fan fiction but it wasn't really because it was actually the story that happened in this game but then it kind of was. Why would you not sit there and do it? Why would you not? Is it because it's a dresser? <laughs> I will change it to a desk you guys. There she's got a desk now. This bit seems a little bit lost and I realize she doesn't have a mirror in the room so it could be a good opportunity to pop a mirror on there. Wow. That mirror is kind of glitching hard since I made it big. Let's not use that one. There we go. I like I like the reflection. <laughs> I'm also going to get her a really nice camera because I feel like, it, like it's about time one of our sims was good at photo photography. Photography. So I nearly said, and I've put all this stuff around her room. So where has she got her? Did she keep her journal on her person now? Is her journal in here? Like what have you just done with the journal I've bought you? Where is it? You've just lost it. The, I feel like journals in this game, I tell them to write on them and then they do something to them. I don't know what it is that they do to them, but they just take them away and hide them from me. And Emily, please, can you feed your child? How many times am I going to have to tell you how to do this? So what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying that one of you guys sent me a story on Twitter and it was told from Max's point of view. And it was kind of like the whole Max story and everything that happened and how he was feeling and how he'd wanted to win Emma back, but he wasn't <laughs> able to and he wished he'd give him more attention to Lilith. And it was really, really well written. Oh, um, check my Twitter if you want to give it a read. I retweeted it and I said that I loved it and I read the whole thing because I did. I absolutely loved it but it kind of got me thinking that i think um lilith would definitely be wanting to spend a lot of time with max and i'm thinking of doing like a spin-off one-off episode of broken dream for christmas called broken christmas so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments below and i think just in this episode i might get lilith max and emma maybe just yeah. go out to dinner together so that lilith can spend a little bit more time with max and can all just catch up because of course uh little max has actually got a new wife and a new kid so i'm sure lilith would definitely be wanting to spend a little bit more time with him of course lilith's got to make sure she is looking after her little baby as well who looks really really sad a lot of you guys have been telling me that there's a mod that lets you control your animals but the thing is, I don't really want to be able to control them. Like, I like them doing their own thing. <gasps> we can go on an adventure together because she's an adventurous dog. Aww, well, she's a fox. But it's actually really, really late. And this one has school tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> think I'm going to do that. I will just probably... Oh my god, it eats the whole thing in one go. I'll probably just ask him to do a little sleep. Do a little sleep, Vixaroo. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> I actually don't know. And I'm gonna get this one to go. Oh, she can hide a journal. Oh my gosh. She should definitely hide a journal before she goes to bed. I think that's a really good idea. Plus, I've never asked a sim to do it before. Lilith, lovely. I'm, you're gonna have to get back up and hide your journal. It's just out there for everyone in the world to read. Oh, wait, no, it's not, because I don't know where you hide it. But I think she's hidden it under a bed. So now she can locate her journal mm -hmm. and kind of uh, write in it whenever she wants. So let's just put, put a little auto lights on. Oh, look who has been forgotten about. Poor little baby. Look, she's mad. I don't know why she's so angry. Because she ate food that was yummy. She wants to ask Emma for food. 
Have you noticed that, like, she doesn't really seem to have a great relationship with Emily? I mean, apparently she does, but it's Emma that follows her everywhere and takes her all the places, which I find really, really weird. Emma, who, of course, was totally heartbroken in the last episode because Jay... I don't know what happened. I don't know who he flirted with or who flirted with him, but she felt like her partner cheated on her and was unfaithful. And you guys made a really good point that if I look at the club now... Jay isn't in it, and Emma isn't in it either. So why either of those two would be flirting with other people? Jay, why he would be flirting with other people? I don't know. I don't know what's gone on there, and like Emma was absolutely ruined over it. Like I don't think I've ever seen a sim more depressed in the whole game. It was pretty sad, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let's just replace that. We're kind of rich at the moment, so you know, may as well just replace. Okay, so Lilith has her first day of school today. Hope you smash it, honey. Go smash that schoolwork. And you guys said that if I set her to make friends, her school performance will drop. So I'm gonna make her study hard for the first half of the day. <gasps> She's angry from that hot-headed trait. That's Maxarino's fault. Um, and I'm also gonna make her make friends for the second half of the day. So that's how I'm gonna get around it, you guys. A little bit of both. Oh, Vix is all sad. Is it because she's gone to work? Uh, to school, even. Can this little one come and talk to her? Oh, look. Little baby Faith can come and make friends with little Vixie as well. Who's apparently meant to be Lilith's secret pet. If Faith knows about her, then she's not that much of a secret at all. Oh, both little Vixie and little, um... Faith are really sad. Look how sad she looks. You know who she needs? She needs little Ryder to come around and keep her company. Oh, she's, oh my gosh. She's doing little cutes with her though, which is really nice. I still don't really know whether Vixie's a boy or a girl. Oh, it's a girl, because it's called Vixie. Of course. Although I'm kind of regretting not making it like a red fox now. I don't know. It's kind of a little bit of a strange color. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> okay, while she's having her little stroppiness, I might get, I might change up her appearance a little bit. So let's do a little plan outfit. So we can change her hair and change her clothes a little bit. Okay, because we could definitely make her look a little bit more grown up. This is her current day outfit. It's very cool. But let's go for like the most grown up one we can get. So she definitely looks like she's at the end, you know, of her toddler life. We could go for like a dress sort of thing. It still looks quite kiddish though, doesn't it? Maybe like this. That's quite grown up. That is definitely a little bit more grown up. That's quite kiddie again. I think this kind of thing is probably going to be the most grown up thing we can put her in. I like her with yellowy things. I think I'm going to go for that one. And then let's change out her um, her tights. Maybe just for some like little socks. Little white socks instead. And let's change up her shoes a little bit. I love the noise they make when you're dressing them. They're like little bee shoes. They're funny. But maybe some little yellow shoes to match. I think she's looking a little bit more grown up now. Let's have a quick look at some of the hair options too. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh. How would she have grown her hair that fast though? That would have been like a baby, uh, baby Lilith sort of hairstyle maybe. She could have grown her fringe out, however, and kind of tied it back into a bun. We could do that. Oh, there's like this kind of a bun too. It's not very ginger. Like the hair options aren't really ginger enough. Like she's definitely a ginger baby. That's just not, it's quite dark. Which is a shame because it's quite a grown up hairstyle. That one doesn't even have a ginger option. What the hell? Where's the support for redheaded kids? That's another one, but again, I think that's more brown than red. She could match me, but that is some crazy ginger. That's like not natural for a baby. She says with Ryder as one of her babies. <laughs> oh my God, classic baby Claire hairstyle right there. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Like she's just grown out her um, fringe a little bit as she's got older and she's tied it back into a bun. Like I definitely think she looks a little bit older, which is what we were going for. Let's change out her little J's as well. Let's give her a little... Uh, Little princess nightdress like this. That's super cute. And some little pink polka dot socks for bed. Okay, that's pretty perfect. I'm happy with that. Kapow. She definitely looks a little bit older, you guys. Which is exactly what we were going for. Where is she? Let's have a little look at her. She's in her little pajamas. There she is, playing with uh, Vixie. Looking super cute, actually. Oh, already looking a little bit older, which I like a lot. So there you go, you guys. That was a good idea. I like that. She does need to go potty, though. Anna, her fun is kind of low. Emily, why don't you do as a solid and act like a mother? <laughs> um, why don't you try and do a little bit of potty training for Faith instead of going on the computer? She's also feeling like she's got the look from practicing her modeling. <gasps> There's a little doctor play set here. Why don't we get 
little can faith not play with that <gasps> can she play with it why can't she play with it that's really weird is it for kids not toddlers let me just check because it would be quite cool if she played with it as a kid and then oh no it's children only okay it's children only if she played with it as a kid and then actually became a doctor when she was an adult that would be really cool <gasps> how was she holding her what the hell did you guys see that okay lilith is one of the b students but she did meet kelly while she was at school <gasps> Guys, I know what you told me to do. I know what I need to do. Oh my gosh, and Taylor's met Miko at work. We need to invite, um, where's she gone? Where's she gone? Bestest friend. Bestest friend, Fatima. Oh, they've kind of drifted apart a little bit. She's feeling super tense as well. Okay, let's invite Fatima to hang out and we can just watch a little bit of TV together. But also, we can age up Fatima and give her like a tea look that matches Faith because... These guys were always very obsessed with making sure that they looked like the same kind of person. Like two halves of the same coin, you know? Let me select her. Okay, modify her in Cass. So do I give her Faith's pigtails and kind of do a Michi Machi thing? I'm sort of thinking I do, you know? Her uh. mum's really pale. <laughs> okay, here we go, Fatima. So, oh, I need to do Cass full edit mode, don't I? Okay, now we can do it. Kapow, <laughs> teenager. No, sort of weird. I can't remember, like, did I give her brown eyes? Yeah, we gave her, like, these really cool brown eyes. So I will do that again. I hate the way it ages them up. Like, what? <laughs> okay, she's starting to look a little bit more like her former self now. She needs some little eyelasherinos, though. Oh, that takes off her skin. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to do that manually with lots of them. Great. She could always have slightly different piggies. Kind of like this color instead. Although they don't have the gradient. The gradient was actually something that they both had, which was super cool, wasn't it? She had this sort of gradient as a kid. But I don't know, I kind of like them being really similar. I like this, this is a new one. This like big chunky one long plait, which I like a lot. Okay, so that would be her equivalent. She's looking really cool already. Like I, I liked her a lot. And I think she would probably have like similar vibes to Lilith in terms of how she dresses and stuff. Big huge eyelashes for her. Kind of have to be uh, careful with lipstick on her because her skin tone is a lot darker than Lilith's. So I don't want to make it look- they, they look quite pretty though. I like that. I like that one actually. Oh I don't know, I like them all. <laughs> this is teaching me a lesson that I don't have enough lip colours for darker skin tones. Okay, so this is like the daytime look I've given her. I love those jeans so much. I really want some jeans with roses on them. And I think she's definitely like, she's starting to get like a little bit of her youthy sass back. And she has the look of Lilith and the style of Lilith, which they're meant to do because they like to be little twinerinos. Okay, so here we go with Fatima. She's day look, formal. I actually, <laughs> she's got Wednesday Adams' dress on, but I ain't even mad. Look how good her butt is as well. Then we've got active wear, sleepy wear, party wear and swimwear. So for her aspiration, I kind of think, you know, she's not a sim we control. Maybe we can make her a little bit of a deviant sort of sim. I don't know. I kind of like, I like the idea of having someone that's a little bit cheeky. Maybe she's also all about the mayhem. And I'm gonna keep her active trait and also make her self-assured. The active trait probably explains why she's tiny. Like she is legit tiny. Okay, there we go. She is all grown up and done. Pow! I kind of like the idea of her and um, her and Lilith moving out together one day maybe. That could be quite cool. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. <laughs> Okay, please don't tell me she's gone home though. Like, are you guys still, are you guys still hanging out together? Where's she gone? Where is she? Fatima, my love, I've, have you left the lot? Have you actually just gone and left the lot on me? No, you're still here somewhere. That's where? Oh, she's in here. What, what are you doing in that closet? What? Oh, she's off to go cry in the closet. Oh my gosh. And um, Taylor's been promoted to a council person. He got a bonus, he got a huge bonus of like 2,000 simoleons. He also now has a squared office and he can kiss a baby interaction. I don't really know what that is, kiss baby interaction. But there you go. Okay, Lilith, stop, stop eating fruit salad and go console your poor friend. There you go, poor thing. Also, everything in this house, everything in this house. I'm just replacing stuff nowadays. Why is Fatima so insanely sad? Imagine being so sad that you would go 
into another sim's household and just cry in their closet. I don't like, no matter how bad things have gotten, I've never been like, I'm just gonna go into this person's wardrobe and do a little cry, you know? I'm gonna just add those guys to a group together so that she's not wandering off. Lilith, you've kind of, oh babes, what are you doing? <laughs> you've kind of missed her now. She's not even in the closet anymore. She's like, I'm having a whale of a time. Where's poor Fatima gone? These two are just kind of hanging out. <laughs> they do look very, very similar. Oh my gosh, why is granddad? Why is granddad hanging out with us in his pants? Ali just does not care anymore. Literally, he does not care anymore. Also, they were watching TV and now Claire is like, yeah, I actually want to play on the games console, so forget you guys. I'm playing on my games console. I want these two to kind of reconnect a little bit though, so let's do nice, some nice chats together. Oh, where's the poor forgotten toddler? She needs some amusement. Why don't you play with your blocks? Look, here you go. Do some shapes, okay? Don't be doing a tantrum or a sad. Forget that idea. Also, I think Vixie is hungry. Vixie's hungry, but there's like, there's food right there. So I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what the fox is doing. Eat the food, Foxykins. Why are you being all sad? Why are you doing a sad? Is it dirty? Is the dog dirty as well? The fox. Does she need to do a clean of it? I think she she might need to give it a bath. Oh my God, she does. She needs to give it a bath. Wait, why is Emily so flirty? Oh, she's checking out Taylor. She's checking out Taylor in his new suit, looking very, very councilman-like, if I must say so myself. If you remember last episode, Emily was mad at this one as well. I mean, it seems like they've definitely sort of made it up. But last episode, things were pretty tragic for these guys. Okay, so Lilith's kind of burned off Fatima just to give Poor little Vixie are clean, because I was like, I really hate her coat colour. But it's actually just because she was dirty, so... <laughs> That's better. Is Fatima still hanging out in the room? Oh, Fatima, don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Let's have a little sit and chit-chat and catch up on all times, you know? Okay, so they've definitely caught up a little bit. I will definitely get them to chit-chat a little bit while they're at school as well. But I'm glad at least Fatima is now the same age as her. They've caught up. It's very nice. I feel like they're, they've like rekindled their little friendship together. Tomorrow will be Wednesday, and I think Wednesday night is when we will get Lilith, Emma, and Max just to go for a meal together so that Lilith and Max have a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time together. Because they don't all she doesn't always need to go into his house. She's definitely gonna be doing that. But I think it would be nice for her to get some time with him away from like his new family as well. I think that is something you would want if you were Lily Bear. So apparently it's the kind of day where you wake up at 5 a.m. and Claire cooks everybody burgers outside on the barbecue. I don't know why it's that kind of day, but that apparently that's what we do on Wednesdays in the dream house because everyone's outside on our new patio this patio was only built when faith was born and look at that <laughs> faith, poor faith is upstairs the only one not joining in the bunts because the poor little thing is starving because no one is looking after her again basically emma and taylor uh, emily and taylor are just way too busy for like the whole baby situation i actually think lilith does a better job at looking after a fox than they do at looking after a kid which kind of tells you everything you need to know. So at least this little cutie pie is getting his little foodies. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Taylor has come. I actually asked Emily. Taylor's come and taken her out of bed. Is he going to give her some food? No, he's going to stare at her. Good parent in you guys. Okay, Emily's coming in. Looking like a spook in her outfit. Is she going to give us some food? Yeah, she's going to give us some pizza. Well done, guys. Well done. So I know it's it, we've got a couple of hours before school and I really want to see what the go for an adventure option is with an adventurous uh, doggy, which is definitely what Vixie is. Foxy really. Vixie is an adventurous fox. Watch out. They might return from the night out on the town with more than they had before. So I've asked them to go for an adventure together because I'm kind of interested to see what they do and where they go. We've got like two or three hours before school. Two and a half hours. So Look at its tiny little feet. How can you adventure when your steps are so small? Where are you? Where have you gone? Okay, where you are lost. Vixie is gone. Vixie is trapped under the stairs. Great. Oh my gosh, the, the puppy's actually trapped under the stairs. What am I supposed to do? Okay, there we go. I had to debug her. Can you guys, oh, you can become companions. <gasps> Yay! Please become companions together. That's super, super cute. <gasps> have we trained it anything? Okay, you can't go to adventure because you actually do have school in 40 minutes. You've got class in 40 minutes. So why don't you just do a little bit of training of Vixie instead? But you will still definitely, if you're becoming companions, you will still definitely go on adventure together, you guys. Promise me, okay? 
when you've got a little bit more time, adventures will be happening. Yeah, Meanwhile, exactly. these guys are having a great Good conversation, chit chatting and laughing away. Burger's on the floor, and their poor kid is crying in the high chair. And they're totally just ignoring her. Okay, so Fe uh, Fe Lilith has gone to school. Study in the morning. Make friends in the afternoon. Because if she's anything like me, she won't be making any friends in the morning because she'd be in such a foul mood. Emily, do you have work today as well? You do. You've got to work in 44 minutes. Your fun and your hygiene are really, really low. Why don't you go get a shower, smelly bum bum? Oh, at least grandma's helping out, you guys. Grandma Claire is helping doing shapes with little faith. When she's got this outfit on, she looks less old, <laughs> which I like. Because you guys, it's not nice seeing yourself look old, especially when you were a young, young sim at one point, and now how things have changed. I'm looking forward to this evening. Okay, it's this afternoon, so I'm gonna get this little bean down here to go and make some friends. Hopefully she'll chit chat a little bit with Fatima as well. I wanna make sure they stay friends. It's very easy to lose friends in this, in this program, in this game. Oh my gosh, look, I've just noticed. We've got weights at the bottom of the pool. I don't even know why. I literally don't even know why there's weights at the bottom of the pool. <gasps> oh my gosh, Ali's been working out again without me even telling him. And it says, uh, dangerously tired. Elders don't have the stamina they used to. Ali, don't you dare be dying on me, okay? You have to stay alive. You stay alive. Your, your, your grandkids are only children. You have to see them get older than that. He actually went in to go and check on little Faith. He was doing a little sleep. Why don't you give her a, give her a little tuck in, okay? James is wondering if I want to come over. James, I'm looking after my, looking after the grandkids, okay? Emily is back home from work. Get some sleeps, please, Ali. And Lilith is back home from school. So I'm definitely gonna get these guys to go out and get some food with Max Arino. So Lilith will need to travel with Emma and where is Max? Max, there we go. She's only got about a quarter relationship with Max at the moment. We need to change that. We need to get her at least like 75% before she becomes a young adult. Because you've got to have a good relationship with your dad, you know? I'm not going to send her to Selma's restaurant, I don't think. Because I think that's like a little bit... It's bringing Max back to the family and it might be a bit of pressure for him. He might not like that. So we're actually going to go back to Rockside Gourmet where uh, we were in Last Cats and Dogs with Charlie Rose and Asher. I forgot his name then. I was going to say Abel. Abel is someone completely different. Abel is Max's new son. New son. Okay, so here they all are. Why don't you go- Oh, what's going on with these two? Oh, I thought I thought there was something happening with those two then. Let's do a nice little hug lovingly because he is your dad. Show him your selfie and whatnot. There we go. I'm desperate for them to have a really nice relationship, you guys. I am absolutely desperate. Look how dressed everyone in the city is like, like showing their stuff off, looking really nice. Look, he's feigning interest in her selfies, you guys. That's how we know he's legit trying, when he's pretending that selfies are interesting. <laughs> Let's have a look. Max in his very, very low voice. You ever noticed how low Mac Max's voice is? Very, very low voice. I never expected him to become like such a popular character when, uh, when Emma first met him as a kid, but you guys really love him. You do. Mock uncool adult. Don't do that. I love this. Like just taking like little pictures together. Emma has just peaced completely. Emma is all the way up here at the- Oh my gosh, straight away she's like, We're with Max. I need a drink. I'm gonna need a drink. And she's like chatting with the barmaid, telling her everything, telling her all of her woes. Okay, I think we're gonna have to get a table for you guys to come and sit together. Why don't we sit outside? Nice table here would be pretty nice. Okay, so they're off to go request a table together. Whenever you do this, the guest that you're with always runs, which is kind of weird. Of course, Max was here. Only a week or so ago, about a week ago, because he was with a uh, new wife. What is she called? She's got like a really like Hansel and gretel kind of name. <gasps> Elsa, because it's like Frozen, isn't it? She's called Elsa and her new wife. <gasps> and that's, is that Max's dad? Yeah, Villarreal. Literally, that is Faith's great... No, that's Faith's granddad. That is literally Faith's other granddad other than Ali. She didn't really seem to acknowledge him at all, which is a little bit worrying. Maybe we should have built that relationship up a little bit more. Lilith, why are you stood at the other side? How are you gonna get over? Come sit. What? She just like ran over the, the side of the wall. No, they always do this. Sit and stay, okay? You're gonna do some nice chats together. Can she actually help fix his relationship with Emma? Oh no. 
It's not an option for him to do that. That was that's good because it means that at least him and Emma have kind of got things sorted out a little bit. And hopefully Emma is gonna get involved in this conversation and not just sit there being like, oh, "I really oh, wish I was out there." Oh my gosh, she's just reading the menu. Emma, at least get involved in the conversation. She does not look impressed at all. Emma, Emma, get involved, please. Come on, it's your daughter and her biological father. She's just nodding along. I don't think she's actually said a word the whole time. Just like, yeah, this is great. Tell me. Look, her romance status with Max is still like 50% really bad. The relationship is, is it's awkward. At least some aspects of the relationship are budding, if not at all. And broken up, not all love lasts. These things are no longer together. Oh my gosh, did she just do, did she just do something flirty with him? I think she just read him some poetry and he said ooh la la. I didn't even tell them to do that. I was talking to you guys the whole time. And now they're, they're like romancing isn't as bad as it was before. I want to get it to zero. So it's just like, a, it's just like on equal grounds. But at the same time, I don't want her to like flirt with him while she's with Jay or anything. So. Just gonna kind of keep it nice. The conversation is very flirty. Look at this. With her, it's just obviously normal, very happy. But with Max, it is still very flirty. Oh my gosh, it's frozen. Oh my gosh. Can she just not really? There always seems to be some flirty thing. Between... Look at how she's looking at him now. How did that just change? A minute ago, you were like, I don't want to be here at all. And now look at this. Look at how they both are. And look at him. He's actually been really pleasant with both girlies. But look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you two! You two will you never learn! How many hearts must be broken before you learn? Let's order for the table, okay? Okay, I was not expecting this to go down like this. I was hoping that I was gonna make sure that they weren't fighting too much. But instead, yeah, it's kind of like, it. how do I stop them from flirting? Wow. Okay. So why don't we get, um, let's get a nice glass of wine. Let's have a look. Which one? Let's go for a medium class wine. I mean, how much money have we got? We've got 38k, actually. Let's get a nice glass of wine for these guys. You are still a little, a little butterino, so you have to get this, I'm afraid. I don't know what a zebra fizz is, but it sounds really cool. And then, should we get an appetizer and a main? I'm kind of feeling both, you know? So why don't we get a caprese salad for this one, uh, a Caesar salad for this one. Let's get a garden salad for this one. This is gonna be an expensive meal, you know? They're really flirty, you guys. Look, what does she want? Oh no, she wants to volunteer with family. Whew, I thought she wanted some kind of flirty thing then. Like literally everything I'm telling them to do is just like friendly. It's like compliment his outfit, debate game strategy, ask about day, talk about your favorite author. But for some reason, they're making it like really flirty. I don't know. They're, these are all friendly interactions. <gasps> this is good though, because look at Max's relationship with um, Lilith. It's really, really nice. We should definitely get them to do this much longer. I think having a meal, and like a little window of time with Max is great. Trying to spend a life with Max, a little bit harder, just a little bit harder, I would say. <gasps> He's like flicking his hair back. The good thing is their relationship is still like red. It's still red. They might be getting along better as people, but there's no more romance there, which is a good thing. Where are you guys going? What the hell? Everyone just got up and left poor Emma on her own. Do you need the toilet or something? They're off to go dance? Oh my gosh, they're all just like at the bar dancing. That's kind of weird, but it is a good opportunity. Oh look, that's because they're father and son. Why don't you go and say hello to uh, your granddad? Because you know, you kind of should know about him. Just be polite. It's ghost night at the bar tonight. Fatima wants to hang out with, with Lilith as well. I can't tonight, I'm doing family stuff. This is nice. That it should come up Not as her grandfather. Crazy. Yeah, grandfather. <laughs> they just don't really know each other very well. So at least she's doing some chit chats with him. And then the food has come and poor Emma is sat all on her own with this person that's getting way too involved, way too involved. Okay, Max is back, Max is back. This person needs to just go away because like we're eating, that's just so rude. Go away, weirdo. Don't want anything to do with you and your conversation. Literally everyone's just ignoring her, like eating the food. Go away. There we go, nice foodies. Some of the wine is being finished as well. So I think we should probably order the main meal and order a little, a few more drinks for the table. Let's get, 
<laughs> Get these guys at least another glass of wine. And then for the main course, let's... What should we have? Something nice. Why don't we have the blackened sea bass for this one, an omelette for this one, and some beet noodles for this one. This is an expensive, expensive bill. I was just thinking as well that I don't think Emma knows... I don't think she really knows about Max's partner. So I'm just gonna do, it's the only romance option I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask if single, because I don't think that necessarily has to be like a romantic thing. It's more like a, uh, who are you seeing at the moment kind of thing. And she'll find out that he's married now. Emma has learned that Max is married to Elsa. And as she asked, as she had a little baby icon then. So I wonder if she's asking him as well, like, do you have kids? Do you have kids too? Oh my gosh, Emma, look. If you go on her options now, she actually has asked to move in. Like, <laughs> do you have no memory? Do you have literally no memory of everything that happened? Just keep it platonic. Stop it, you- Stop it, you two! What are you doing? What on earth are you guys doing? How do you not remember what happened last time? Oh my gosh, funny. Quick, keep it funny. Knock, knock jokes. They're short and not get anybody in flirty moods. This is so weird. Look at her. I, I feel like everything she's doing has this very flirty edge to it. Oh my gosh, did you see that? He was meant to serve us our food and he just dropped it all on the floor. <laughs> I've never seen that before. What kind of interaction is that? That's actually hilarious. Does that mean we don't get our food or what? <gasps> Emma, Emma, Emma. Oh my God, they're blowing each other kisses. Please tell me this is just the wine. Like literally, please tell me this is just, they've had two glasses of wine. I mean, they've, they've not, they've had one glass of wine because the waiter dropped everything else on the floor. I also think we need to definitely complain about this meal. <laughs> Get, get on. <laughs> I thought this was going to be me trying, feeling really awkward for Paul Lilith because her parents were going to be arguing with each other. And instead, it's gone a little bit too well. Don't you dare! He's just done it again! We've had to wait the amount of time it takes for two full meals to be picked up. The same guy yeah, keeps doing it, and every time he just leaves it in a pile on the floor. Oh my gosh, their romance is nearly completely gone now, you guys. Like, sorry, their anti-romance, they're nearly back at complete zero. Which would be nice, because that's neither one nor the other. And also, Lilith's relationship with Max is definitely over 75% now, so I'm really happy about how this meal has gone. If a little bit shocked. Oh my gosh, the food has finally come. Emma, now is not the time to be playing with your toy, okay? Our food is finally, finally here, which is good because they can finally eat. I can't believe they're paying 250 pounds for a meal that got thrown on the floor twice, but apparently they're very trusting Sims. And I actually can't believe these two. I actually cannot believe these two little poops. On the one hand, I'm like, it's nice because I want them to have like a good relationship for the sake of um, little Lilith. But on the other hand, I was not expecting this. Okay, Faith has finished her meal first. It's almost 2 a.m. in the morning, which is just ridiculous. They would have finished this meal a lot sooner if it not for the fact that it had been thrown on the floor twice. But the meal is paid for. I think it's time for everybody to say bye to each other. Like, he looks pretty tired to me. I think now's a good time to say goodbye. I mean, oh, look how flirty she is. Like, look how, like, the romance options. She wants to make a flirtatious joke. This is what she did to kick it all off, which I think is because she's got, like, the writer thing. She just decided to t shell tell him some love poetry. And that was the thing that kind of set everything in motion. And it was her. It was her that instigated it. Okay, can I say um, goodbye? How do I just say goodbye? I never find this option. I never see the way of saying goodbye to each other. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can say goodbye. Maybe you guys just both give him a little hug goodbye, okay? You can hug lo lovingly Faith. Uh, Lilith even, not Faith, which is even better. Although I kind of think because the meal's finished, you, yeah, look, he's super tired. Often they just like kind of go straight home. Which is fine, because I think you two pookies need to go straight home now as well. But wow, I was definitely, definitely not expecting that. Look at him, he's so tired. But look, he's really tired. But if I pause the game, pause the game. Look at his face. He's tired, but he's really happy, which I think is really nice. 
Wow, I, <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. And I definitely wasn't expecting Emma to be the one that instigated everything. That was just very, very strange. Oh my gosh, what does that all mean? What does that all mean? I don't know. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Oh, the poor little pookies are super tired. Okay, why don't you uh, pick up this little one and bring him back upstairs to bed and then everyone can go to sleep. They're all like super playful from, um, from like just telling jokes and having fun the whole night. Emma, let's get you to sleep as well. Maybe just drop Max um, just like a little happy text just saying like, really glad today, everything today went well. Thanks for doing some good dadding for once. <laughs> Look at that, I've come home and the food bowl has disappeared again, by the way. What is that glitch all about? I do not know, but it's super, super annoying to have to rebuy this every time I come here. So there we go, you guys. Our party animals have uh, have had their crazy, crazy evening out together. I actually think maybe Lilith should write in her journal and talk about everything that will happen tonight. I don't know what to make of that. I wasn't expecting that to happen at all. I don't know. What do you guys make of that? Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of thinking that like Max and Emma are always going to have this weird history between them. And as kids, they probably thought they were soulmates. Maybe they are soulmates, but it's just never really going to work out between them because Max is evil and he has to kill someone to not be evil. And I don't think they can ever really be around each other if they don't hate each other without flirting and kind of being in love with each other. So I don't really know where to go from here. That makes things very, very difficult because they're always going to have to be around each other because of little Lilith. So let me know what you guys think about all of that in the comments below. A lot has happened this episode with their relationship. And don't forget, it was Emma that instigated everything. It was Emma that made those first movements. So that is what's happened this episode. I <laughs> Very, very weird, but I, I don't know. I kind of liked it. And a poor Lilith feels forlorn. No one likes me. No one would ever like me. Why bother with anything anymore? I would always love you. I would always love you. I would always love you, Lilith. There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see the Broken Christmas episode as well. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.